How can you possibly be a raven? The one. The Jedi whose troops saved me on Taras. It was Revan, leading an army out to defeat the Mandalorians. It was you. I knew when I heard that you had become the Dark Lord of the Sith, that something was wrong with it. The man who saved me could never go completely to the dark side. It is good to know that you have truly changed. It gives me hope. I do not think now that I will fall to the dark side. I only have to look at you and follow by your example, and there is no way I can fail. Yes, that is true. I suppose you would know better than I. I will never forget what you did for me, even if you do not remember it. How may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? What is it you would like to speak to me about? Well, I mentioned before that my parents had fled to Taras. Perhaps I can tell you about that. In the early days of the Mandalorian War, there had been fighting closer to the Outer Rim worlds. Cathar was there, yes. My people had a great reputation as warriors, and that appealed to the Mandalore version of honor. They sought to test themselves against us, I think. Test themselves by bombing our world, slaughtering my people while they slept or while they ran. They swooped down from space across the world, firing at anything that moved. They used ships in space to destroy all orbital facilities and bombard the surface. We did resist, and in spite of their violent attack, we did stave them off for quite a while. But in the end, we were doomed. We were not members of the Republic. Cathar was beyond the edge of the Republic, in the Outer Rim. And besides, they could not have known. Our interstellar communications were the first things the Mandalores hit. All other short-range communicators were jammed. We were on our own. We knew what was coming. We had fought the Mandalorians in the first war against Exar Kun and the Sith. We knew there would be no mercy for us. The most we could do was pack the few of our people who survived onto what few ships remained and send them off into space as fast as they could. Most did not make it. My parents carried me as a baby with them, and were lucky enough to escape. They fled as far as they were able, and eventually settled on Taras. They could stand running no further, I think. But Taras was a horrible choice. Dominated by humans, intolerant of other species, it made everyday life unnecessarily hard. My father... My father turned to stimulants. He spent much of his time in local bars and dives. But we are warriors. It runs through our blood. And when he was on stims, he, he, he became foolish. He let his warrior nature get the best of him. So he would get intoxicated, and he would fight. And finally, one day, he would die. Killed by a man who provoked him into a fight and killed him like an animal. I, I am sorry, I... I cannot talk about this any longer right now.
Hey there, what can I do for you? It seems to me that if you don't really remember anything about being Revan, then it doesn't really matter anymore. You are who you are now, right? I don't see the Sith Lord standing here. I see a friend who's been with us through thick and thin. Remember, Malik's the one who tried to destroy Terrace. Yeah, what do you want? The war we had with the Republic was supposed to be the most glorious battle in our history. But it was a very costly one. I guess we didn't think of how much we could lose in it. There weren't many of us after that last battle. Mandalore himself was killed at the hands of the Jedi Revan. The best of us could not defeat him. After that last battle, those of us that survived were stripped of our weapons, our armor, and our basilisks. The Republic's forces destroyed them while we were forced to watch. Those who hadn't fled earlier were left with nothing to call their own. No weapons, no armor. Only the honor of having fought in the battle we just lost. For many, this was not enough. While the rest of us were sent into exile on the Outer Rim, they tried to relive the old days, raiding worlds. They're nothing more than bandits now. Yeah, I came to Terrace. And forcing for Davik was not stimulating. The gangs on Terrace and Davik's rivals were trash. They give no thrill in battle, no honor or glory in defeating them. It was like stepping on bugs. I sought worthy challenges, but the best that Terrace could offer were nothing to me. But I think now, with you, I may finally find opponents worth fighting. Maybe later I'll tell you more about what it was like to work for Davik. For now, though, we should get on with our lives. Is there something else you want to know? Korriban is a Sith world, that's for sure. I mean, just look at this place. Rumor has it that the leader of our clan at the time, Mandalore, did go down. They say the Sith performed terrible magics here. Do you have anything else you want to ask? Your choice. Statement. HK-47 is ready to serve, Master. Statement. Yes, Master. You created me shortly after you and your apprentice began your war to conquer the galaxy. I was sent on an assassination mission into Mandalorian space, but I was damaged and unable to return to you. Exclamation. I find this most distressing. I could certainly have protected you from the Jedi and your pupil's betrayal had I returned. Observation. You may be right, Master. This way we are reunited, and neither of us has suffered permanent termination. Observation. You are different in many fundamental ways, Master. You have a concern for life that is unsettling. This cannot solely be caused by memory loss. I do not know how to explain it. Regardless, you do seem to be improved overall from the human I once knew. Commentary. Your former pupil is efficient and brutal, even for an organic. I rather liked him when you first introduced me to him. If I had known what he would do to you, Master, I would have gladly removed his entrails right then. Answer. No, Master. You never did make me privy to any of the Starforger's secrets. Answer. It was you who programmed me thus, Master. Your pupil once asked me what I thought of him, and I informed him of his meatbag status. He was unimpressed, but you found the reference humorous. 
You changed my programming so that I would continue to use the term. It drove your pupil to extreme lengths of frustration. Observation. Of course you do, Master. You did then as well. As you desire, Master. Signing off. Got something on your mind, do you? <laughs> Korriban's a rock. Mind the Sith. And that's about all I got to say about that. Now, let's get going. Did I say that? Strange the trick's memory plays on you when you get older. Didn't I say that my past was my affair? You don't see me poking and prodding you with questions, do you? <laughs> I might be, but a mouthy young thing like yourself shouldn't get to call me an old coon, damn it. And besides, you don't really want to hear about me. We're talking ancient history, probably before you were born. History bores kids. Proven fact. So you're not. Fine. Have it your way. Just don't say I didn't warn you. Yes, yes, I was an adventurer. Happy now? I wasn't even done with my Jedi training back then. I had a full head of hair and an eagerness to see absolutely everything. Sound familiar? The Council was never happy with willful, brash Jolie Bindo, you see. Even less so when I began my smuggling. Don't look at me like that, damn it. I wasn't always the wrinkled coot I am now, you know. I can still fight, too. So wipe off that smirk I see there. At the time, the Yukata system was interdicted by its own king. He preferred to keep his people starving and poor. All the better to oppress them. The Senate was trying to negotiate a peace. But they were getting nowhere as usual. I decided I wasn't going to wait. I found myself a ship and a partner, and we began smuggling food and supplies to the Yukata citizenry through the blockade. Oh, it was. I was a half-decent pilot in those days, and with the force guiding me, we made it through some tough spots nobody else would have. Pilot, smuggler, several other things too. Or did you suppose I was always a crotchety hermit? Well, we didn't buy all the equipment, per se. Some were happy to donate goods. Some we just, uh, knew had more than they could use. Stole is such a harsh word. They would have donated those goods readily enough if they were compassionate. I considered it a tax on the greedy. We only got caught once. A lone Yukatish frigate shot us down and forced a crash landing. I thought the force had abandoned me, as I remember. Well, as it happens, getting shot down turned out to be very fortunate. That day was the day I... Well, that... that was the day I met my wife. You know another way to get a wife? Yes, that's when I met her. I... if it's all the same to you, I'd prefer to stop talking now. My mouth is starting to draw flies. Ready!
Nice to see the Hawk still in one piece. Beauty of a ship, that. Ah, I've seen this little ship before plenty of times. Used to make runs for the Exchange, didn't it? Korriban's nice and remote. The kind of place the Exchange likes. You don't need to worry about me saying anything. I don't give a whit what you do with your ship. Smuggling what the Hawk was made for. Oh, nobody's special. I just do the routine maintenance work for the ships that come in. I used to see the hawk here all the time. You sure can. Not much. It's a pretty barren planet, to tell the truth. Not of much interest to anyone. Unless you're a Sith, I guess. They seem to think this place is something special. Probably all them ruins they found on the surface. That's the reason they built their academy here, I guess. To dig all them ruins up. There's people that come here from all over Sith space to try and join the Academy. Most of them die, I hear. Pretty gruesome business, that. You don't. Not unless you're a Sith in the Academy. They're the only ones allowed on the surface. They pay Zerka to ship things in and out, I guess, but that's all closely monitored. I don't know. There's all kinds of hopefuls in the colony trying to get in. Why don't you ask one of them? Yep, take care now. Chibedwana Nipobo. Tonk Nabung Shanun Yang. Tonk Patogas Magdelia. Kachichu Aitha Odunga. In King Kuno Bamuli Rachikun. Slim Abodona. Rundi Odonga Kunungami. Takun Justak Miki Gravel Mogo. Kachichu Aitha Odunga. Tulpada Bonk Molia Gando Danago Chuchut. Moga Shampumpa, Olawana Chikni. Bamule Slik Mopoda Nawanga Kun Beast Muli Rabest. Chibedwana Nipogo. Tonk Nabung Shanun Yang. Tonk Patoga Smakdelia. Kuya Michus Kachita. Nai Patoga Yafulki. Kukula Jiti. Kawana bota a ayut tagwa. Wi, ita nadana yitya. Kunti chani. 
Tong Patong Gas Magdelia. Rundi Hadonga Ku Hungapi. Wana Kumbes. Jink Palamul Tong Kimba Na Kongkek. Tung Ting Ta Chun Kunek. Kachichu Aitha Hadonga. In King Kuno Bamuli Rachin Kun. Muchashak Pangpa. In King Kuno Bamuli. Please avoid the Sith Academy, unless you're a hopeful, naturally. No, that is the wrong answer. Again, you pathetic hopefuls can't possibly all be this stupid, can you? Watawama Mulira, King Kunjope Shak, Noba Muliraji, Johnny Yun Turumchi, we eat a deer. Bola Una Chinek, Bamulirat Slimoanga Kunbis King. I'm no master yet, but I like the sound of all right, one more question. That a lot of you is trying my patience. All right, let's say you become a Sith and I am your commanding officer. I give you an order to spare the life of an enemy. Do you do it? Oh, of course, Shardan. Anything you command us. We would never oppose you. No, no, no. Oh, do you honestly believe that the Sith are in need of such sniveling cowards? Mercy is a weakness. If your leader shows weakness, it is your duty to kill him and show true authority, true power. That is why the Sith are strong. Tunipudu! Rana no prata dunk no sercha! Ichua penki! No, you don't understand, and you probably never will. You wouldn't survive five seconds in the academy, the other students would tear you apart. Bah! I can't be bothered with fools. Perhaps I should. Uh, hmm. You, Jedi! You're looking to get into the Academy, are you not? Well, of course you are. Why else would you be here? Let me pose a question to you. These hopefuls will never survive in the Academy. A lesson must be taught here, but I am at a loss as to what form it should take. Advisement. Evisceration works well. Electrocution and blunt trauma also work well, I understand. I wasn't talking to you. I'm thinking to spare them the effort of being killed and do it myself. Perhaps I shall turn their skin inside out. Or force lightning, yes, it's a most impressive display. Or perhaps a bit of humiliation is in order. I could easily strip off their tunics and make them run through the colony. Or they could lose all control of their bodily functions. What do you think? I just can't seem to decide. We didn't do anything. Please, help us. Silence! It's not what they did so much as what they didn't do, which has proved themselves worthy. I'm exhausted from dealing with their mulings, so please decide for me, will You're as pathetic as they are, it looks like. <laughs> I can't be bothered. Get out of here, all of you! The sight of you makes me sick to my stomach! Uchuapenki, <laughs> Chiwi Aita Katong Chicha, Baba Hassan Shan Kakin Chan Awabakaon.
Well, there isn't much to do in Dresh Day, except have a drink till your ship's ready to go. Look here, my dear friends. We have some newcomers to the colony, led by a Jedi, no less. I don't believe I've seen any of them before, have you? I hate Jedi, and these fallen ones are worse. They always get into the Academy, and they think they're better than the rest of us. Looks pretty fresh to me, Lashow. That's what I thought. Well, stranger, I don't know whether you're aware of this or not, but here on Korriban, the Sith do as they please. And we are Sith. Quite literally, whether you live or die depends upon our whim. What do you think of that? How precocious. I think this one tried to make a joke, don't you? I didn't think it was funny. Neither did I. A brave face, perhaps, but I'm more interested in being amused at the moment, I think. What do you say? Amuse us, make us laugh, and we might just consider allowing you to live. What? <laughs> I think someone just stood up to you, Lasho. Shut up, fool, unless you want to be next. Yeah? Anytime. Stop it. This is boring. Let's just go back to the Academy. Fine, we'll go. As for you, I'll find you later. Trust me on that. Something you need? Look, I'll answer questions if a Sith puts them to me, but not otherwise. I mean, I'm here to get into the Academy and I'll do whatever it takes to succeed. Well, you have to impress one of the Sith. The final decision rests with Uthura Ban, however. She's the one who decides exactly which of us get into the Academy or not. I've been hanging out hoping she'll come by and notice me, to be honest. Usually she's in the academy, but sometimes she comes out into the colony to look for prospects. If she's in the colony, she can usually be found in the cantina, but not always. She's one of the most powerful Sith in the academy, I hear. Yeah, go on. Greetings. You've heard of that awful business on Idean, yes? Our corporate outpost there has been destroyed by the Wookiee savages. This could put back the use of Wookiee labor considerably. We may even have to abandon the planet completely. Ah, well, what can you do? Sorry, was there something you needed? We do some mining here, and are responsible for local shipping and support of the Sith on Korriban. Our starboard is mostly just freighters and such. But we do get many travelers that come here to learn from the Sith, I must say. Zerka is in need of droids right now. That's a mighty fine-looking one you have there. Objection. This unit is not for sale, meatbag. Uh, yes, of course. No offense meant. <laughs> Touchy, isn't it? This office is actually our administrative headquarters for this region. Rather inauspicious, isn't it? We offer good prices here to those traders that keep the colony supplied. If you're in need of anything, this is the place to come. Well, why not? This is Sith space now, and the company has to survive regardless of who is in charge. The Republic, the Sith, eh, the economy has to keep going. Now, was there anything else? You certainly can. Allow me to punch up our stock.
Please avoid the Sith Academy, unless you're a hopeful, naturally. ชีวะแห่งไอตาคังคีชีวะแห่งไอตาคังคีชีวะแห่งไอตาคังคีชีวะแห่งไอตาคังคีชีวะแห่งไอตาคังคีชีวะแห่งไอตาคังคีชีว
ya kuli kukala jiji Tengkuin kukala tangkit wana jisa Smilia Tengkuin kukala patoga ya kuli You own the Ebon Hawk, don't you? Wish I could fly a bird like that. Uchu a penki, ang ituwama ji, human act in ikatune, chi ita kanki, chan na kilikon, chi wa e aita kanki, ang ituwama act in kotune, at ang ituwama ji act in kotun, ang padlokun, non. Nikaw ba dupaka? Patisa, patisa! Kon muli slimo to i wanga kon biskin. Uba baska doana chichopa muska, kimba ni chaloda kun. Ki yuma batmalia o nawish, ka kincha na wabaka on. Kon muli ra slimo to i wanga tog kimba, no kon nyeksak. Patoga ya kuli kukala jiji. Tinko in kuka, tong hit wana ji sarkat agi tinko tune chunap. ขัดกินจานาวะบากาอนจิสกาโดซุกิกบาบอนนาคาชิลาบอรานาวินกิสแมกโตมาคุยามิจูสกูจิตองฮิตวามาอาคิจิโกตุเนะอตองฮิตว